So we're standing down in Farringdon and in front of us you've got the Holborn Viaduct, a beautiful piece of Victorian engineering which was built in the 1860s to improve traffic management essentially from the City of London in the east going through to Royal Westminster in the west. Opened by Queen Victoria herself in 1869, this viaduct cost two and a half million pounds to build back then, which is the equivalent of over 200 million pounds today. Beautifully decorated, as was the way with the Victorians. If they were gonna build something functional, it also needed to look pretty. And what it really shows us, because if you look underneath the viaduct, you can see the road going down, heading towards the River Thames, down in the distance. Essentially, this would have been built over what was the River Fleet, only the River Fleet was already covered over at that point. And so where we're standing, if we went back in time, we would actually be wading in the River Fleet itself. And this part of the fleet, navigable. So this was the bit where you could actually have boats coming up from the River Thames and making their way up into the area, bringing people and goods. And when we go up on top of the viaduct, you'll be able to get a real sense of the River Fleet flowing down to the Thames. Only today, it's the traffic flowing down to the Thames. So we're gonna head up in a moment. I want to show you parts of the viaduct because not only was it beautiful essentially from the outside that you could see from down below, but up on the top they put a lot of decoration in. So come with me and let me show you a couple of characters. Across the road, Henry Fitz Aylwin, the first Lord Mayor of London, an ancient role that dates back to the very first Lord Mayor of London, Henry Fitz Aylwin, who was Lord Mayor in 1189. And we've had one ever since. Now what's exciting this year, because of lockdown, the city has done something that they've never really done before. Because William Russell, who was Lord Mayor and elected as Lord Mayor 2019 to 2020, because of the lockdown, they decided that this year he would just be re-elected for 2020-21 because with the lockdown it was quite difficult to really have a proper um, mayoral election and so essentially he's just transferred over for the new year and that's quite unique because normally these days a Lord Mayor only serves one year in office uh, and doesn't do another one. In the past we've had Lord Mayors who have served multiple years but not in modern times. So Henry Fitzalwin, our very first Lord Mayor, and if we turn round and look up there, you can see Sir William Woolworth. Now he was another very famous Lord Mayor of London, and he was Lord Mayor in 1381 during the Peasants' Revolt, when the peasants of Kent and Essex rose up against the tyranny of the king and rebelled against paying their taxes and famously King Richard II, the boy king and his Lord Mayor William Walworth met the rebels on the smooth field, Smithfield today where we have our meat market and that is where William Walworth took offence at something the leader of the rebels, Wat Tyler, said and drew his dagger and stabbed him. And with that, the rebellion was over, generally speaking. So he's another very famous Lord Mayor. Now, also on the viaduct, again, if we turn round, beautifully decorated, as the Victorians will want to do, with these wonderful statues, four of them, depicting fine art, commerce, agriculture, and science. Two on this, the north side of the viaduct, and two on the south side. 